Hello, welcome to another video tutorial of the CTrader trading platform. Today we're going to discuss creating orders. So that's market orders and pending orders. Um, so what I'm going to do first of all is just show you what you've got on your screen. This is the trade window. So this is where you'll be doing your manual trading. And what I'm going to do is increase the font size so that it makes it clearer for you to see. The previous two videos were using the same resolution and I think it might be a bit small for some people. So I'm just going to go to settings. And then going to go to general and increase it to 110 percent okay so the text size is a bit bigger i'm hoping this is easier for you to see um, but at the same time the actual sharpness might be a little bit less it might be a little bit more blurrier if you prefer this please leave a comment at the bottom just to state that um, you're happy with the font size being much larger and it's easier for you to see and i'll do that for all the other videos okay so different ways of opening up positions so the first one is i'm going to go to watch lists on the left hand side over here and you can just right click on any symbol, create new order, opens up an order panel. You can create an order from there. You can also um, click on the symbol and it opens up a um, little panel here for doing buy or sell. So you can do a sell limit order by selecting here, a buy limit order. And you can also do a market order by clicking on either one of these and also changing the volume here. And at the top here, you've got the lows, daily lows and highs and the current spread for that symbol. So and you've also got the daily change and the buy, bid, ask and price ask. But sorry, bid, ask, bid and ask price. So this is for doing it on watch lists. Um, pretty straightforward. So what we're going to do now is just do it to symbols. So on the symbols, what you can do from here, when you click on a symbol, let me just pick a uh, 4x. You can see on the right hand side, the active symbol panel actually changes and shows you the um, order panel plus all the calendar information. Now, this doesn't have a pop up like the other one, the other one for displaying it. It just shows it on the right hand side, but you can right click. You can create new order again, opens up the order panel. And I know that takes up a lot of space, but you would do this if you had a lot of time to actually do it. Um, again, you can right click and you can do um, symbol window. The window, symbol window comes up and from the symbol window, you can uh, manage your trades by opening up buy or sell from here. This would be the same as your watch list. Now, the reason they haven't done it on the symbol window is that your watch list will contain only the symbols that you're going to actually trade with and no other. Whereas the all symbols contains all of your symbols. Um, because I'm now using the CTrader uh, Spotware beta instead of what I had on the other one, it didn't have just the select few um, symbols that, that I chose from the previous video. So, okay, so that's how to do it on there. I'll come back to the active server symbol panel later. If you're on the chart now, to actually create an order on the chart, you can just right click your mouse and again, create order. And that opens up the order window. Okay. You can also create an order by right clicking the mouse and selecting buy limit, sell stop or sell stop limit. Okay. Now to do that, wherever you put your mouse on the screen. So what I'm going to do is get the crosshairs. Wherever I put my mouse, say I wanted to put an order here. I right click my mouse at that level, I then choose a sell stop and it puts it at that point. OK, so this will allow you to right click your mouse. And if I do a buy limit, oops, I need to be in the right place. So if I do a buy limit here, I can right click my mouse and do a, did I just say buy limit? I meant buy stop and it's put the buy stop order there. So a little bit fiddly, but you can actually, the best way to do it is to do the crosshairs, pick the price you want to use, say just there. Let me get down to the right spot. Right click your mouse, click it again, sell stop. Okay. So that's one way of doing it from the chart. Um, probably a better way of doing it, I prefer, to be honest, rather than that, is to use this panel at the top. It's a lot better. So from here, you can do straightforward market orders, select the volume here. Uh, you can do buy or sell but the unique thing is these little buttons down here these are um, drag and drop sell stop sell limit orders so you can actually just drag it and as you bring it down on the chart you can actually physically see the line now instead of trying to guess it as you were previously so i can now physically place this wherever i want and set it that way it's a lot more accurate to do it this way and again for the other one i can just drag it down to wherever i want it to go and it will place the right order for you. By hovering your mouse over it, it gives you more information about exactly what it is. It says, drag and drop this box onto the chart to place a buy, or li buy limit or a buy stop order. It will automatically work out if it's a buy limit or buy stop, depending on where you put it com in compared to where the price is. Um, orders are, uh, below and between the spread are buy limit. Orders above the spread are buy stop. 
pretty straightforward. It's a very good uh, feature this for actually doing limit and stop orders and placing them on the chart. Uh, probably a lot better than doing it this way with using these. Okay, so that's the second way of doing it. The other one is the active symbol panel, which is on the right hand side. Now from here, you can either select your symbol here, which will automatically populate on the right, or you can just select the symbol from the symbols here. So you can just select different symbols. Now from this window, this stays fixed at the top, but you can minimize we can minimize this one as well, but you can drag the others around. You can't drag that above, but you can drag, say, I don't know, symbol info right to the top there above everything else. So from this window here, since the actual symbol panel, you can actually um, create a market order. You've got your buy and sell, just a you know, straightforward market order, fast execution of trades, shows you the spread, the high, daily high and low, shows you the market sentiment, Tells you 84% of clients expect these positions to be to go bullish to buy, and only 16% uh, expect it to sell. So there's your market sentiment there. You've also got market range. Now market range is you can set that to say two pips, and in a very volatile market, if you um, executed a market order and it was very volatile, um, and you didn't want your spread to be too large, you're saying that if the spread or if the um, yeah if the spread Oh, what's the word for it? I can't remember what the word for it is now. So slippage, that's it. So if the slippage when you execute the order is above two pips, you don't want to enter the trade. So if it was moving fast, you'd be at the back of the queue to get um, your order in. And before your order gets processed, the price may have moved much further than two pips. So by the time your price actually gets processed, you, uh, order gets executed uh, by the broker, it might be out of your range and you might be you know, straight away in debt. So the best thing is just to set your market range, something that, that's manageable. Now, if you want to find out more about this and my explanation, and my explanation wasn't very good, just type into Google um, Forex market range or market orders. Yeah, Forex order market range, something like that. And it will actually give you more information and tell you more information about this. OK, so here again, you've got the um, the volume that you can specify. Now, if you want to change the volume to something else, and you don't want to use volumes, you want to use lots, just go to your settings window and go to, I think it's assets. And in here, you can either choose units or lots. So for Forex, I can change this to lots. And you can see on there, it's gone automatically now changed to lots. So we're now using lots. I prefer lots to be actually, to be honest. So we've got lots, you've got market range, you've got a straightforward stop loss you can use. Okay, you can set your stop loss and you can set your take profit. You've also got this value here. I'll go through it again on the order panel. So when you set a stop loss, you can set the um, stop loss to be triggered by bid for buy positions and ask for sell positions. That's very useful, that's the most common way of doing it. You can also click on it and do it um, opposite side. So you can have stop loss will be triggered by ask for buy and bid for sell. You can also click on it again, hover your mouse, double trade side, stop loss will be triggered after two consecutive bid ticks below the stop loss price. Now, again, you can find out more information about all of this, I'll drag it across, by going to the C Trader help um, guide. Now from the C Trader help guide, which is here, it, it actually goes into detail more. So this video is a complimentary video <clears throat> for this. So I would probably read this help file and watch the video and both together you'll get a good understanding about how to actually use all the features of ctrader so there you go that's for the market orders and you can put a comment in it you can set a trailing stop so this is a server try server side trailing stop so when you execute your order um, if you turn ctrader off I'm just, i think i'm pretty sure of this if you turn ctrader off the trailing stop will still work okay so it replaces your stop loss and it will trail x pips but eps, so many pips behind the price and if the price retraces too far, it will close and stop out in profit or lock in your profits. You can also add a comment for your order. So you might want to put some type of comment in there. So you, when you look at the history of the order, um, you can look at the comments as well. So you can analyze it. So you could say something like um, order placed just before major news release. Um, this might happen and you can go back and look at it and, and to clarify that it did. So that's for market orders. You've got limit orders. So on limit orders, um, again, you can set a buy limit order or a sell limit order. You've got your entry price for the order. It tells you how many pips uh, the order is away from your pending order. Um, you've got your lots or your quantity. Um, expiry, so you might want to place an order. And if your order doesn't get um, hit, if that pending order, the price doesn't ex um, activate the pending order within a certain period of time, you just want it to expire and automatically cancel. Um, because you don't want a pending order sitting there and running forever. But I'm not going to go into detail of what a sell limit order is, what a buy limit order is and all the others. That's not you know, within the scope of this video. It's just to show you how to place the orders um, using Ctrader. 
Again, you've got the stop loss and take profit. And again, you've got um, trade side, default, opposite, and double trade side. You've got the same features there. Okay, and now you've got limit order. Oops, sorry, did that, stop order. Now on stop order, you've got this extra feature at the top here. So for the stop order, you can choose the order will be triggered by ask price, by bid price, or double trade side. So it's a little bit of extra feature you've got for the stop orders. Um, same thing for the stop loss. You can set the same thing here. And again, you can put trailing stop. And again, here you can see how many pips um, your stop loss is gonna be, what the estimated price, what percentage of your balance is gonna be lost by, how much net profit you're gonna lose with this stop loss, and estimated distance in pips. Again, take profit. You've got take profit of 15 pips. It will tell you um, what percentage of your balance you're going to lose, and it will tell you your profit for that um, take profit. Okay, so that is the active system mill panel. If I go to stop limit again, you've got stop limit, which is another pretty much the same details that I said previously, but for a stop limit. That's the active symbol panel. Now going back over here by creating an order on this window, you've got the same um, features that I just explained in that one. They're all pretty much the same. As this window but it takes up a lot more real estate so again you've got this little button here if you click on it it will show you the chart on the right hand side and you can actually change it to candlesticks or anything you want okay if you wish to use that feature so there's two this window panel here and the one on the right side i prefer to use the one on the right side to be honest for executing trades and not this pop-up window for actually doing it Okay, so that's that. And what I'm going to quickly do is just quickly show you um, a trade that's going to go on. So if I select a market order and I want to place a sell trade, it looks like that might come back down. So I'm going to select 15 pips, stop loss, uh, take profit. I'm going to do as 30 pips and I can do a rough guesstimate of what I'm doing. I'm going to be 0 .0 0 0.01 lot size. I'm just going to do a comment to say test and I'm going to place this order. Now, it's placed the order on ORD USD, and you haven't seen it on the chart. You just right-click the chart, go to Symbol, Symbols, type in ORD USD. There it is. Click on it, and there's your order here. So it's brought your order up here. Now, if you were, sorry, if you were viewing the charts and you wanted to adjust that, I'm just going to press F11 to get rid of that on the right, and I'm going to close this panel on the left and just minimize this. And I need to go all the way back to the right. Okay, there's my order there. I'm just going to increase the screen size. I'm going to do Control Plus to increase the screen size. Oops, now that's increasing the resolution. Oops. Okay, so I can't remember what it is, which one it was. What's the button? I can't remember now. So what I'm going to do now is just show you to adjust your values. You can just drag this here. It's got a trailing stop loss there, you can see. You can just bring it up here, and you can adjust it to for fine tuning and actually put your stop loss and take profit anywhere you want. So I might want my take profit just here, and I want to put my stop loss up here, it's just, just a rough idea, okay? So this just shows you how to do the order once it's executed, how to actually modify it. I'll go into it in another video. That's just a brief introduction to show you that. Um, the videos later on, I'm gonna show you how to modify existing positions and go into more details. So the video today was pretty much just how to create market orders. So that's all I wanted to show you. Um, if I've missed anything on here to show you how to do a market order, please um, let me know by comment at the bottom that there is another way of doing it so other traders can benefit. Um, and what I'm going to show you now is just some of our products that we've got um, for alternative methods of creating market orders. So if you don't want to look at our products, we're just going to tell you what they are. Then you don't need to look at this anymore. You can move on. Before I do actually carry on, I'll just show you on here. If you go to ctrader.com, help.ctrader.com, and go to ctrader desktop, you've got all the help written down here as well. Okay, so what I'm going to do first of all is just tell you a little bit about us. Uh, if you don't know who we are, we're um, C Trader specialists offering products, development service, custom development service, and knowledge for, for traders using the C Trader platform. And what I'm going to do quickly is just show you a couple of tools that uh, we've developed that might help you with trading with C Trader. So the first one I'm going to show you is a trading widget. So it's a very brief, brief, um, sh briefly shown you just to show you um, that you might benefit from this. So first of all, you've got a one-click trading terminal um, that you can do preset settings and you can set um, the stop loss, which is percentage, a calculation of the risk. You can do a fixed cash risk, fixed cash risk, uh, a percentage of a risk percentage of your equity, risk percentage of your balance, and it does the calculation and it automatically calculates the lots for you and you just apply it. And then it goes to one-click settings where you can do slippage, max spread, stop loss, take profit, trigger, 
add extra pips for the trigger for the break even, trailing stop, how many pips it trails behind. And you can also set the trailing stop and stop loss to for the last swing low and last swing high. So you can use that. You can also do stealth orders so if you want to hide it from the broker. And you can also stop trading when your daily winnings are a certain amount or your daily losses are a certain amount. OK, so that's it. That's that one. And I'll just quickly show you can also do this where you can say you can manage your closing positions by closing a certain percentage, closing buyers, closing willers, partial profit closing there. Reverse or reverse buyers, reverse sellers, break all even, break even all winners, break even all losers. So there's other features for this tool. So you can download this tool from our website just by coming to here and then just go into uh, where, did it, where is it? Manual trading terminals. And you should find the training terminals in here and you can just download trial versions. The last one I wanted to show you is a quick FX trading terminal. And CTrader has got various other manual trading terminals you can shop around for and buy. So it's not just what is on this platform. There are vendors um, that have actually got um, you know, like additional tools that you can use to enhance the platform's trading. So from here, you can do advanced um, risk management or advanced trading. So you could set a buy limit or buy stop, and you can actually automatically calculate the swing highs and lows um, and other values. So it's a very useful tool. So if you're interested in it, just download it, trial the trial version, see what you think of it. Okay. So, okay. So I've probably gone on too long. So I'm hoping that helped you. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up at the bottom. Thank you.